Hey, I'm Mimi Webb and I'm here chatting with Milky. So I went to school in Canterbury. I was like in the countryside, raised in the countryside in England. And yeah, I just always loved music so much. I did a lot of acting, but yeah, I always had like a husky voice and I everyone always say like, oh my gosh, you need to really get into music. And obviously I was, no one knew, but I used to sing all the time and write music. And then I started to slowly get more confident and do band nights because people was like, you need to do it. I was like, all right. I'm doing it, I'll have the confidence. Um, and I always dreamed of being, you know, being able to be like a pop star and be and do all these things. And I grew up loving Nat King Cole, Amy Winehouse, Adele, all these incredible artists that I just felt for me just brought such a goosebumps effect. And then, yeah, and then I slowly started to grow and then I went to music college. And then from there, I went and signed a record deal. So for me, Ghost of You is just, you know, all about having to try and move through, you know, everyday life, trying to still work, trying to do everything you need to do, but also just you're thinking about them 24-7, wherever you look, they're there. And it was kind of that whole, like, concept behind it. And um, it was fun because it's taken, like, a sad story, something difficult, and putting it into a really fun, boppy song that really, like, kind of, like, celebrates it in a weird way. <laughs> I think the, there's a part where it goes morning turns to evening, haven't even thought about you leaving. Like it's kind of this whole like every day, like it's, it feels like a whole 24 hours um, and it just feels like there's no, there's no daytime, there's no morning because you're not sleeping and you know, you haven't even realised they've left. <laughs> So I think that's the thing for me. It was like from the start, I always had to kind of like grow and I never really knew what my sound would be. And it took so much time to try and figure that out. But yeah, I think as I started to release more music and get, get more ideas and more songs, I then started to slowly realise, oh, like I love doing a ballad song. I love doing emotional music, goosebumps effects and all these big songs. And I also love to do pop fun tunes and mix them together so you know I felt like it just kind of was the best of both worlds. Yeah I feel like you know each song definitely connects and there's like a creative um, backline to it all but yeah I also do believe that there's you know certain songs that are kind of a little bit more out there and I kind of love that to be able to spice it up and you know gain other fans from different genre of music to be able to be like oh I really like that song from Mimi Webb even if I might not be there like usual artist that they love. It's been amazing I've had so much fun being here it's yeah my first time and I think for me we went to the zoo that was really fun to do got to see some really cool koala bears kangaroos and yeah I think also just seeing like an Australian crown and just to see how it works and how people are like they're so up for fun and so up for a party and it's been an absolute honour to be able to perform in front of them. I love to be able to have that personal connection with people in my shows. Um, I love to be able to have the one-on-one -on -one experience and, and have a laugh with them, show my personality. And I think also just to feel like they are connected and they can be vulnerable. Um, we have a lot of fun. We've got some really sick uh, musical arrangements within the whole set. Um, and yeah, we just have so much fun. It's it's so great. And you can really see the chemistry with the, me and my crew and my band. And yeah, it's really fun. And we've been doing a few fun things. Like I've, I've got merch hat and I throw it into the crowd and there's a few other bits we do. Um, I love to take people's phones and have it like film. And you know, I love to make sure I'm like there and you know, jump off stage now and then as well. So it's very fun. <laughs> I think it's actually awesome like how, you know, new artists that have never been in a rec uh, record label, never stepped foot in one, never really stepped, maybe stepped foot in a studio with other writers and they just chuck a video on TikTok and that's it. They're found, they're scouted, they're signing a big record deal. And I think it's just amazing to be able to have social media and like TikTok as a marketing tool to be able to get spotted. You know, I think so many young, amazing, talented people are always thinking, how how do I find a manager? How do I find this? And to be able to have that platform to go to, I think is amazing. And uh, it's so amazing to see the t new talent come out of there and even like new artists like myself to be able to use that to build a fan base. 
So I work on my album, which is super fun. So I can't wait to drop that at some point soon. Also, um, obviously my American tour, so excited. And yeah, just the rest of Christmas, dropping some new singles and getting some new music out. And yeah, and then getting, getting geared up and ready for next year to do it all over again. Adele, um, Dua Lipa, um, and oh gosh, there's so many I love. Sam Smith. Coldplay, I absolutely love, that's like my thing I'm really aiming for. Oh, I want that. <laughs> Adele's last album was probably the biggest one. Oh no, before. Uh, they're all amazing, all of it. But, and even Coldplay, I love Coldplay and like One Republic. There's some, a lot for me, a lot of different albums that I like to take inspiration from. James Bond. What, I'm like, what the lyrics? <laughs> oh no, I love them both. Um, Hannah Montana. And my Cyrus, but they're both very different people, aren't they? Someone like you by Adele. Oh gosh. Justin Bieber. Pops in my head, but... Oh no, I can't put my finger on it. Um, Billie Eilish. Spice Girl. Mm, oh gosh, these are so good. Um, I would say it would be Jokey Spice. Because <laughs> I just say a load of weird stuff. <laughs> the Joker, but the Spice Girls version. <laughs> the festivals this, su this summer have been incredible, but I would say the Jubilee performance for the Queen was something that I I'll just never top. It's just incredible. I've got a friend that listens to a lot of like rock music, so I sometimes listen to like rock music with them. And, and then other friends are like, wait, hang on, what's going on? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. But I don't put it on, but yeah, I just jam to it. <laughs> Oh wow, Olivia Rodrigo, I think she's just absolutely smashed it, yeah. Keep going, keep going girl. Um, and yeah, just have fun. You're gonna be 23, you're getting old and no, I joking. <laughs> I would say when I was like 15, I was like, right, and I was finished my GCSEs, I was like, right, now I'm gonna like go leave home. And I moved out of my family home and I went and did it. I was like, right, this is it. I'm out of school, I don't have to keep going. 7 a.m.s at school, I'm now like, right, focus, yeah. <laughs>